yeah, we just want you to have fun at the end of the yeah, day. So absolutely. we're like, yeah, macro, we don't care. We're absolutely. like, yeah, macro, we don't care. We're absolutely. like, yeah, macro, we don't care. Hello, everyone. I woke up this morning and decided I didn't have enough controversy in my life, so I'm making a video that's probably going to piss some people off and potentially get me banned, but here's how to use AHK scripts for PVM and RuneScape. Uh, this GitHub repository is public and linked in the description, so feel free to download it and mess around if you'd like. Uh, also, a lot of the code here are ideas I learned from other people. I'd like to give them credit, but I can't really drop names because everything I'm about to show you is technically against the game rules and bannable. Speaking of bans, I can't recommend enough that you don't do anything that I'm about to show you. This video is purely for inf informational purposes because the official statement from Jagex is that macros are a bannable offense. Uh, if you care at all about my personal philosophy, it's that, you know, PVM macros I think are good for the game. Uh, you know, over time, it's kind of gotten to the point where there's a high frequency of continuous inputs that I think uh, can be quite annoying. Um, and, you know, scripting it is just a good quality of life. But hey, you know, I'm not an employee of Jagex, so my opinion means nothing. <laughs> Let's dive right into it then. I guess to start off with the basics, there's pretty much three main statements that you're going to use for, for RuneScape macros. One is declaring your bind. Um, so that's simply just typing out the keystroke and then two colons after and then everything that follows is what's going to take place whenever you press that key. I guess sort of subsections of that you have a send statement and a sleep statement. There's two send statements that you're generally going to use. One is send key press down, the other one is send key press up, and they're separated by the sleep statements. The reason that we have structure that in this way is because RuneScape can't recognize instantaneously when you press a key down as well as releasing it, so you have to have you know, a, a period of time in between when there's nothing happening. Um, so if, for example, you just had swap down followed by swap up on the very next line the game would just think you're doing this and you can imagine why that would be a bad thing and then of course sleep statements are also good for more complex inputs where you're doing multiple actions uh, like an sgb spec for example you want a particular order of key presses with some time in between so that's kind of how you make a macro you know some of these other things around it are related to my bind profiles. I'll actually go over that right now. So if we open RuneScape, you can see I have an AOD profile, a Telos profile. So that's really good for if you go to a lot of different bosses and have significantly different binds for each one. It basically makes it so that you don't have to be loading up a bunch of different files depending on where you're going or closing different ones. and kind of reduces the room for error by like accidentally opening multiple scripts. Um, so this first section creates that pop-up message and then down here is just the hotkeys that are physically changing the bind profiles. Another really useful function here is the main hand checker that I was showed by another player. Yeah, very thankful for this one. So basically these are X coordinates and Y coordinates on my screen that it checks for if I have a main hand on or not. Well, specifically, it checks if my shadow one of the appraisal is on. And if it is, it changes my binds accordingly. So let's go find the dual wheel bind. Here you can see if it has my main hand, it just, if my main hand is already on, it just equips the off hand. If it's not, it'll do the main hand and the off hand bind. And the reason that that's useful is Let's say, for example, I have my Inquisitor Staff on, put on the dual wields, it'll put both on. But if I put on my flank and click the dual wield bind again, you'll notice I didn't, it didn't open the invention screen and I didn't get like the message here. And then I can also go like from staff straight to flank with the same bind. So I find that to be pretty useful. This is also another thing I learned from another player, but the variables.ahk uh, file that's in this repository declares all of my binds for each ability. So 
for all of these, I can denote the variable that I want to use by surrounding it with two percentage signs. That's just how HK reads it. And then if we go over to the variables file, you'll see basically these are what my binds are for each for each ability or equipment item. I think that covers most of what I wanted to talk about here. Oh, the other thing, one last thing is, you know, for the sleeps in between abilities, you could just type like sleep 30, which I believe is defined in milliseconds by default for HK. But hypothetically, if Jagex did want to crack down on macros for PVM, I would think the way that they would do it is to check instances where players are equipping dual wields or using bladed dive and you know if the inputs are the same exact timing and you know every single time that ability is used or those series of inputs happen it's pretty obvious that a macro is doing it so this random function here which is also a dependency that's kind of listed in this repository just picks a random number that is within a defined min and max range uh, to sort of humanize the input i guess for lack of a better term. I tried to put comments throughout here so that you can like try to see logically what it's doing, but you know, feel free to mess around and if you have any questions, drop them in the description below and I will be sure to answer them. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day.